Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Wednesday, December 18th, around 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. The World Magnetic Model has been updated and more to come, but we will go over the speed of the magnetic field. And is it slowing down? Well, no, it doesn't appear to be. Keep calm. It's boom time. Significant South Texas cold front to bring gusty winds and plummeting temps tonight. Buckle up, Buttercup. It will be below freezing. And up to 18 inches of snow could land in part of Colorado that needs it the most, the northern mountains there. And January 2025 will bring a broad cold winter weather pattern to the United States and Canada after a dynamic end to 2024. One thing's for sure, most of the country will be below freezing in the new year. Here is the latest snowfall analysis from the last 24 hours. The only snow to fall is in the west here, which is looking like the best. So yeah, almost three feet of snow there up in the Cascades. Here is the cold I'm talking about. This is the GFS model for January 3rd and every state below freezing except Florida in this model. But you can see a huge plume of ultra cold air. Here's minus 30 up here in central Canada on January 2nd. Let's move it through. It's going to be moderate temperatures here. Move it up to the 18th. Yeah, so it is warm in the southeast here for Thursday and a pretty moderate cold front plume here dumping down December 20th. That's some cold temperatures up in Canada there, another minus 22. Friday, December, here's Saturday the 21st. And then as we head into the Christmas holiday, a plume of cold air will attack the East Coast. Here is Saturday the 21st, the 22nd Sunday, the 23rd, 15 in PA, 11 and nine degrees frigid up in the northeast. Pretty much through Christmas, and then it moderates here towards the end of December, and then that cold air returns as the new year comes in here. Here's the first and the second, and then we freeze. So enjoy Indian summer after Christmas, if you can. A quick look at the Basin conditions, the West is completely looking perfect. Uh, we do ha need some work here in South, especially through Arizona, New Mexico, and even my region. We're below normal, and snow is coming, and no one is bumming. Let's take a look at the GFS model through Christmas. All righty, let's walk it through. Here is the next 3, 6, 9, 12 hours. We're going to have some snow up in North Dakota and Minnesota. Say it ain't soda, but it is. And that will move across Wisconsin and Michigan and enter the Northeast by Saturday. Here is the Sunday forecast. We're going to see some snow dip down into the Rockies and the Cascades Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the 25th. And this is the white Christmas forecast. So a lot of the Northeast will have snow on the ground as well as areas in the West and even the Northern Plains the Northeast is going to see several systems move through, but right after Christmas, all of the focus in as far as snow is on the West into the new year. Take a look at those snow totals piling up. Good news for the snow basins. Seismic update. Earthquakes uh, highly reduced across the globe today. Good news. There ha is still an uptick of activity on the mid-ocean ridges is the earth expanding and seismicity in iceland is still getting spicy across the entire island worldwide volcano news for the day normal activity nothing out of ordinary to report a quick look at space weather shows very few sunspots on the disk but yesterday we reported on that massive far side eruption it is confirmed to be one of the fastest moving cmes ever recorded so that one, if it was Earth-facing, could have been spectacular. Probably a, a high-level X-flare with very fast speeds. 
very low level activity in the last 24 hours, three day geomagnetic forecast, all quiet as we wait for those exploding uh, areas on the far side of the sun to turn over the limb. And what, well, more bad news for Boeing and Boeing Starliner crew. Their long awaited return has now been delayed to March. Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams previously expected to return in February after spending several months longer in orbit than planned because of Boeing's garbage uh, spacecraft. Well, they'll just have to wait another month. And we kicked off with 173 years of U.S. hurricane strikes. Take a look at this. This graphic was created uh, and hand-plotted by Michael Faragamo, Faragamo, and it shows 130, 173 years of U.S. hurricane strikes on the U.S. mainland. And it is fantastic. Basically, it shows that hurricanes have hit almost any everywhere. Now, there is this stretch of northern Florida that looks pretty lucky. Look at that. Just two landfalls. Whoops. Where'd that go? Yeah, just two landfalls for hundreds of miles. So if you want to move to Florida, maybe that's a good spot right there. Or maybe they're overdue. I don't know how you would call it. <laughs> the World Magnetic Model was updated yesterday, and we reported on it in yesterday's update. So if you haven't seen that, go watch. Almost 10,000 viewers, and we want to thank all of our new subscribers. Here is the trace of the poles, the path of the poles, the historic magnetic declination, and it was wandering around here up north of Canada in the Arctic for over 100 years, and then sometime in the mid, let's say towards 2010, right here, it hit rapidly sped up, and it has been moving rapidly for 14 years suggesting we are rapidly descending into the next magnetic excursion. The speed at which it's moving continues at a rapid pace. It's hard to predict how fast it will move in the future, but it certainly isn't slowing down, which means we will continue to descend into the next magnetic reversal at the rate it's been for the last decade. It may speed up at any time. Have you heard hundreds of vials of deadly virus have gone missing from a laboratory and scientists warn they could be weaponized? Ha! Huh. Wow, that sounds like great news. Queensland Health Minister Tim Nichols announced that 323 vials of live viruses are now unaccounted for. These include nearly 100 vials of the Hendra virus, two vials of Hantavirus, and 223 vials of Lissa virus, all of which are extremely deadly for humans. Excellent work out there. Biden gives Pfizer and Moderna immunity from being sued for vax injuries right before he leaves office. These people are scumbags. But some good news with the new administration coming in. Anxious NOAA scientists feel Trump's target on their back and drop climate change, and now are calling it air quality. A big thumbs up to Joe Nova and her blog. All the links will be below. Great article there, and that's a boom to knowledge. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Over half the viewers are unsubscribed. We appreciate all the new subs from yesterday. Almost 80 new subscribers. Hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm, and be safe. We love you, and that is a boom. Nee, 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 nee.